In the eastern Idaho desert, the Idaho National Laboratory is building its first nuclear reactor in decades. It's called the Marvel Micro Reactor. Cool name. Our Jude Binkley joins us to explain how the technology could impact rural communities. Jude? Well, Morgan, this is a big project with a small footprint. The reactor is very different than what comes to mind when you think of a traditional nuclear reactor, which are about the size of factories. But this new type of reactor, a micro reactor, it can actually be built inside a factory. Marvel, something that sounds like it's from a comic book that soon will be real. The Idaho National Laboratory is set to start building its first nuclear reactor in 50 years, the Marvel Micro Reactor. As its name suggests, a micro reactor is small and portable. Because it's small and at least partially prefabricated, uh, it probably can be hauled to the site where it's going to be deployed on the back of a truck or on a train and then put together quickly at, at the site. This is a prototype of the Marvel Micro Reactor, a kind of advanced nuclear reactor that can generate both heat and electricity. We intend to hook Marvel up to a, uh, an integrated microgrid, so something that's going to produce electricity for a small community. Uh, whether it's isolated or not, and it will be integrated with wind and, and solar. That factor could make a difference in rural communities where people pay a premium for electricity and heating costs. There are transportation issues with getting fuel there, whether it's diesel or natural gas or even electricity. They have to put the infrastructure in place. Marvel's senior program manager, Mike Patterson, says since microreactors only have to be transported somewhere once, they could cut down electricity costs while being more reliable for rural communities. These reactors, these microreactors are well-sized for them. The transmission lines don't have to be hundreds of miles long. They're just local. So from a game-changing standpoint, we can provide them with more efficient electricity and also more secure electricity because a nuclear power plant is online more often than, let's say, a diesel generator. And the INL is now finishing the design of Marvel and starting to put the pieces of the reactor together. It'll go through plenty of tests and trials. And Morgan, really the important thing looking forward with this project is they expect to finish construction in 2026. And this is the first time INL has built a reactor in 50 years. This isn't the first time you've covered this, though. They've been working on it, obviously, for a very long time. Absolutely. About a year and a half ago, went out to Idaho Falls and saw that prototype up close. It's crazy how small it is. It could probably fit in a semi-truck, so it's really crazy how far the wow. technology and, and Idaho's involvement in nuclear history has gone over the last, like, 70 years. Yeah, really historic. All right, Jude, thank you.